Hello. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hello. Welcome to our panel. Um, we're here to present on how to attend a J Fashion meetup because now that people are able to kind of meet up with their local community or um, like friends again, they might not remember what social etiquette is. What's so that, Jessica? <laughs> not interrupting people. <laughs> Great, let's get started. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you're like a newer Lolita and you haven't gone to any meetups before and you are not sure how to attend a, um, a meet, or if you're just someone who hasn't seen a human being for a really long time. Or if you started wearing the fashion during the pandemic. Good for you, we Good support you. that. Love that. Sorry about the Congrats. inflation. Sorry about the inflation. Anyway. Uh, oh, that's us. That's us. We're here. We're here. Um, <laughs> my name's Jessica. I go by Opsix We. I use she her pronouns. Um, and I, uh, I, I have been a Lolita for nine years. I wear black. That's it. <laughs> uh, I'm Emma. Uh, also she her pronouns, and I wear gothic and mostly Kuro, mostly, except today. I'm wearing red today because I thought it would be fun. Anyway, yeah. hello, welcome. What is a J Fashion what Meetup? What is a J Fashion Meetup? Um, Tell me, Jessica, what's a J Fashion Meetup? You go hang out with people who wear like the same clothes as you. It's a little bit weird, um, but <laughs> only a little. It's a little that bit weird. That sounds fun. <laughs> but like, you know, you usually like organize it and then you can like organize an event on like Facebook or like other things, but it's just basically an organized event where you wear J Fashion together. That's cool. How can I do that? This is how we find out. Oh, oh, we have COVID disclaimers. nineteen disclaimers. So we're still in the middle of we are still in a pandemic. Pandemonium. Um, depending on where you live, there might still be restrictions. Um, definitely, if you are in a calm and you're not sure whether or not you're you're doing meets, you should ask your local um administrator or your moderator. Um, follow your local rules. You probably should still wear a mask and social distance. Um, outside meets are great, like having a picnic where everyone's very separated. Um, you know, drinking and eating around other people is dicey, depending on how Just many there go are. Go walk to the other side of the park to yeah. take a drink. It's fine. Um, and virtual meets are still a thing. For example, tomorrow there will be a tea party for Purgatorio. That's true. So, I a pumpkin spice latte. I like. I love all of the names that people come up with for the pandemic. Oh my god! Sarah yeah. Bread said pandemonium, and I just look lost. <laughs> like, yeah, wow, accurate. So, anyway, just be aware that your local community might be dealing with some COVID restrictions still, and so be very respectful yeah. of that, um, and pay attention to the rules if there are any rules put in place for a specific meet. Um, yeah. So, attending your first meet. Uh, speaking of local comms, uh, finding a local community can be tough. And I've heard if you just don't have a Lolita mom like I did growing up, um, finding uh, not literally a mom. I had like a drag mom, but a little. Yeah, yeah I call them, I Lolita. call them Lolita moms. Lolita moms. Yeah. I had a Lolita mom who literally gave me everything, but finding them when you're by yourself might be kind of tough. So usually, usually 99% of the time they will have a Facebook group at the very least. So you can try looking for a Facebook group or Google it. Um, Sometimes they are the Facebook groups are private, so you mm -hmm. might have to maybe like search some like local hashtags if they, there are any, or just like find a Lolita that you kind of know lives in the area and ask them. Yeah, like through like social media through Instagram, or if you have a friend, or sometimes they might have a Instagram channel. Uh, the area has one, which is neat. Thanks, Jessica, um, or a Discord server. Yeah. yeah different um, outlets yeah yeah and then you can from there see how often they host meets either in person or online pre or post pandemic and then if you can find any other j fashion enthusiasts in your area if there's not an active community you can kind of start one or just get like a group of pals who dress up and do some cool tiny little meets mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah just hang out for fun yeah um, if you have not attended any kind of meetup before and you are nervous about attending your first meet just let the, the host know that it is your first meetup um, and they will probably take that into account and maybe like help introduce you to some people or like give you kind of like tips and guidelines about like, you know, showing up and stuff. But also if it's your first meet, you might want to take into consideration, um, what is going to make you personally feel the most comfortable? Like, is it going to be like a setting with like 
an intimate setting where you can talk to just a few people to like get to know just a few people? Or would you rather go to like a big meetup where like you get to socialize with a lot of people and it's like very, very casual? Um, so like, you know, definitely take into account the type of setting that you are comfortable attending, like if you are nervous. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend a smaller, more intimate session for your first one, especially if you don't know anybody that might be a little bit daunting because mm -hmm. you might just be real sad sitting in a corner with, talking to nobody because you're shy, yeah. like myself. Well, if you're so, like a person who's like good at like stuff. Unless you're really good at socializing. <laughs> Some people are good at like being one-on-one -on -one stuff, you know? That's weird. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What's that like? <laughs> um, so bigger meets are usually good. So usually those to be like monthly meets that mm -hmm. comms do have. Yeah. Like here in the Bay Area, we have, um, well, we had and we probably will continue to do um, a monthly meet that is held in San Francisco. Oh, my goodness. It's Leon. Don't mind him. <laughs> um, held in San Francisco where it's like just you just go hang out in Japantown and mm -hmm. it's very, very um, like newbie friendly. It's chill. Leon's gonna start yelling. Don't mind him. If you hear a cat, just don't just mind shit. Oh, right. new oh. Lolita's in your area. <laughs> you, your this area. is not how you find them, unfortunately. I mean, <laughs> what if we make something like this though? They're closer than you think. They're closer than you think. Types of meetups. These are fun. All right, so I'm gonna go over just really read the slide uh so there's types of meetups there's a bunch of different types these aren't every single one of them i've seen some there's infinite numbers infinite of number like kinds of different kinds, kinds of meetups. meetups so tea party restaurant meets picnics swap meets paid activities and these could be things like attending like a museum or going to see a movie or going to a theater um things like that or like i think axe throwing is one that people yep. have done in the we past have, yeah our really com has done axe throw throwing we have done trampoline we have done laser tag yes uh home meets very so somebody could open up their home to a bunch of uh, Lolitas, uh, bar meets, theater stuff as well. It's usually paid pop-up shops, uh, just casual hanging out with friends and walking around, special events like OTT meets or uh, just in-person cons and then convention meetups. So these are outside of conventions, just having like a separate meetup mm -hmm. at like a local tea shop. I think yeah. Fanime usually has one, for example. Yeah, there's usually like a casual Lolita meet at like, um, like at Fanime. A lot of a lot of cons they will like you'll you'll have one like either at con or like outside of the con like during that time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's a bunch of different kinds that you can attend. Um, it's not just limited to like if you're a newbie and you're thinking like, oh, like is the only kind of thing I can go to a tea party? No, there's many things you can do. Yeah. Or virtual meet. My immortal read along meet. <laughs> please. <laughs> can we please? I'll let you handle that one. Yeah. If that's something I love you it. Do. <laughs> uh, actually, a book, uh, book club might be cute. Yeah, I didn't even put crafting on here. Crafting no crafting. Meets are yeah, a crafting thing. meets are a thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I like picnics just because I like snacks and it reminds me of cheese meat. So, special mm -hmm. types of picnics are a thing. So, write these down if you need any ideas. Uh, anyway, the important stuff the attendee etiquette. What's that, Jessica? Is that important? Yes. Wow, what is it? Can you tell me more about attendee etiquette? <laughs> um, so if it is your first meet and you're, you're like kind of starting to dabble in J fashion, um, I would recommend actually wearing J fashion. What? Um, it no doesn't, way. you don't necessarily have to be the most dressed up depending on what kind of event it is. For example, with swap meets, a lot of people don't necessarily want to show up in Lolita just because you will you're maybe, trying to get rid of your stuff. Yeah, you're like you maybe changing and like you have, you're, it's like very casual. You're just buying stuff, no big deal. But if it's a tea party, obviously you do want to be more dressed up. If it's like a more active event, you probably want to wear something super comfy. Um, if it's virtual, you can lie and wear sweatpants. Just wear a blouse. Wear a blouse and sweatpants, which yeah. I have done. Um, but yeah, it, um, you know, these kinds of meetups are not, like for people who are not participants in J fashion. Yeah, so please just, it's the, probably, it's up here because it's the, probably the most important thing for etiquette is if you are going to go to a meet, please at least show up in J fashion because it is specifically for a group of people that wear J fashion. So we love key roomies. Don't show up to a J fashion meet, a tea party in a Kigu, unless it's virtual. Yeah, <laughs> or, or if it's like, I don't know. I don't know if anyone's ever had like a little, little, little sleepover. I was running around like Ruffle Con in like a Kigu, but that's- Oh, that'd be cute. 
Yeah. I like that. More sleepovers. Um, anyway. If you if you want to bring a plus one because that makes you feel more comfortable, definitely check to see if that's allowed first. Um, for tea parties, a lot of times there's like a cap on like how many people can attend because of limited seating. Um, and a lot of times maybe the host doesn't want to take up the spots for people who are not like necessarily in the calm. So and also like now with COVID restrictions, there might be caps on that as well. Um, so definitely check to see if plus ones are okay. Um, if you have a child and or a pet or both, um, oh, like, you just, you just like hold them. Like hold them both. Um, <laughs> um, don't bring them without permission from the host. Cause some people are not signed up to go to a, you know, a meet and like be a babysitter. Some people might be allergic to animals, that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, thank your host. That's super important. Uh, they go, Trust me, running these is really, really, really stressful, um, even virtually, but in person even more so, especially if it's behind a paid thing. Mm -hmm. So make sure you thank them um, before and after. Uh, and it's it's okay to not be able to make it to every single meet. So attend what you are comfortable with, when you can, when you want to. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't need to show up to every single meet. Um, and then communities are being about, are about being helpful. So when you're at a meet, offer to take cord pictures if people want it. Um, ask somebody if they want or if you, you need to fix somebody's like bow if it's crooked be like ask them first yeah don't like, touch them <laughs> don't touch them unless you like give them a heads up be like hey you're like your wig's a little crooked can i help you fix it mm -hmm. um and it, it's appropriate to point out quick fixes like that for a photo of like somebody's like petticoats showing um totally fine uh be helpful be conscious of that you might make a friend doing that yeah too. it's a it's a great way to like you know try and maybe like talk to someone yeah. but it, like quick fixes are okay to point out anything that's not a super quick fix don't <laughs> yeah yeah like if some, somebody's shoes broken yeah. unless you are a cobbler <laughs> please do and you brought your hammer with like, you wait a minute i can fix this i have shoe glue um if you have anxiety who doesn't uh prepare topics to talk about beforehand um so great conversation starters stem from complimenting somebody's coordinate or a specific item they have or show off pictures of your pet because everybody loves pets yeah um leon summer running around here i would show him but he's dangerous um yeah make make normal conversation starters we'll talk about this a little later but like simple small talk conversation mm -hmm. starters um so yeah. those are easy things to keep yeah and again going back to the whole like you know talk to the host if it is your first time right. and they can probably help introduce you to people yeah that is their job as a host most of the time mm -hmm. all right uh attendance so oh, please do not respond uh, that you are going if you are not fully committed to attending event, especially for things that are limited seating. Right now in COVID times, we are slowly opening back up and having more events. So that means a lot of events are smaller. So like right now in the Bay Area, we're doing six to 10 people per event, which means it's getting capped out. If you're not committed to going or you don't really feel like going like 100%, don't say you're going. Let somebody else have that spot who probably actually really wants to go yeah. and can take up that spot. Because like if you decide last minute that you can't go and you have to find someone to like take your spot, it's a bit of a, it's like super, um, it's like a, you know, it's the host has to like get involved, like mm -hmm. and try and like maybe do like some kind of like swap, especially if it's like a paid event. Especially if paid. Um, you know, a lot of times these can happen like, but like they need to know. And so it's just like annoying to have to like find someone else for you, you know, to take your spot. Yeah. Um, don't be too late. Uh, we're all Alitas. We all run really late. Everyone's late. Everyone's late. Yeah. Uh, I'm always late. I always spend way too long putting things on my body. I went to one tea party one time where everybody was on time and we clapped. Like <laughs> I don't know what that's like. Usually I'm like right on time, but like I have an eyelash hanging off because I haven't finished doing my makeup. Um, yeah. Like I'd say like maybe if you're there, like like definitely let the, no the host yeah. know if you are going to be late at all. Try not to show up like more than 30 minutes past yeah. the start like, time. It's fine if it's like five to 10 minutes yeah. late. That's expected. But if it's getting well, to be like 30 minutes to an yeah. hour, people might start to worry. So like let them know like depending on if it's a if it's a paid event yeah. you might have like that area for a certain amount of time mm -hmm. if it's something like that's super casual like a picnic where you just you know like come and go as you please swap meets no big deal it's yeah. fine to nobody me. cares Show what up. time you're yeah. showing up but if it is a like time thing um also you don't want to miss the event so yeah uh, bring a blanket if you're going to an uh, outdoor event uh, or get like a cool little picnic blanket uh, i bought 
I think two over the pandemic because <laughs> it's a good investment. I promise you get like a good like $20, $30 picnic blanket. And that's how you make friends. Be like, hey, you can sit on my extra picnic blanket because I bought three of them. Um, bring food and drinks and napkins if it's not like an actual potluck type of picnic. Um, someone will need a napkin. Nobody brings napkins. Everybody will need one, yeah. um, especially like utensils or like cups if you need that. Um, yeah. Tip for picnics, a lot of people will bring yeah. sweet food. So oh, maybe yeah. bring like some salty foods. Bring a bag of Doritos, especially if you're going to an event in the Bay Area that I will also be attending. <laughs> if you want to be friends with me, just present me a bag of Doritos. My favorite are spicy nacho. Heads up. If anybody wants to be my best friend. <laughs> um, yeah, bring you know, don't, you don't have to bring cookies every time or muffins, um, bring something savory. Cause you yeah. know, one time I went to a picnic and someone brought a bucket of chicken. That was, yeah. I was going to say, didn't somebody bring a bucket of chicken? Yep. That one? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Uh, cheese meat's also my favorite. Cause you yep. can have salty and sweet, which is the best and wine and wine. Um, love that for us. So canceling your, uh, RSVP, um, don't, don't be a no-show. If you're running late and you're like, you know what, I'm just not going to go. That's fine. That happens. Just let the host know. Yeah. Um, Otherwise, they'll worry. They'll worry, especially like if it's something that's paid and you already paid for your ticket and you're like, never mind. They mm -hmm. they might worry. Like, there are people who have like gotten stuck like on the road, yeah. like that kind of thing. It happens. Yeah. Public transit is unpredictable. So like if you get stuck on public transit, that is, and you just, you're not going to make it. Let your host know. Um, even if it's like right after the event, even if you like totally miss the event and you need to let them know, it's better to let them know when you can than not at all. Mm -hmm. um, so let them know you can attend as soon as possible, even if it is last minute. Um, transferring a ticket or your seat to an event is usually okay. Check with your host first. So if you do need, you did buy a ticket for something that was paid and you need to transfer it, your host can probably help you. Mm -hmm. There's usually like a wait list for this kind of thing. But if it's super last minute and they can't find anyone to take it, then you're you're just going to be out of money, and that's you you can't expect a refund because everything's already been paid for. Yeah, don't be like, can I have my money back, please? If I'm not attending, even though you already put money down on this, because a lot of the times things will have a cover charge or you have to put down a fee if you're a host, and then you have to pay for that, and nobody wants to cover for somebody. Payments. Speaking of payment, yeah, you know, let's talk about money. Let's talk about money. Um, if you're getting a ride from someone, um, which is um, a good thing if you're like, just to keep in mind is that like oftentimes if you can't make it to a meet because you don't have a car or you're kind of f far away from public transit, if there's someone close enough to you and they can drive, it's usually acceptable to like ask for a ride Um like if you know them or maybe like you can post on the me, like yep. is anyone like going from this location to this location, but definitely always offer yep. like, you know, give them like some cash. Like forcefully hide money in their car. Don't let them say no. <laughs> I, I think I got to the point now with Jessica where I just will con we just constantly pay each other back and forth for, <laughs> for things. I think we went and we went out to dinner recently and I just, I bought you meal. So yeah. you don't necessarily have to pay them. Yeah. Buy them a PayPal, boba. Buy them boba, buy them drink, buy their, sushi if you're going somewhere yeah. um but yeah make sure you offer them money because they'll remember that and they'll be glad to offer you a ride the next time it's just so nice it's nice it's nice gas is expensive in california please. oh my god it's so expensive uh, help us um if you are if it's a paid event you definitely want to pay for everything um as soon as possible yeah. oftentimes like if you don't it means you're going to miss out so you you can't like like expect to go somewhere without paying for a spot for these kinds of things. Um, there have been like confusion in the past where someone's like, Hey, like, can I reserve a spot and just like pay you later? The answer is no, no. don't do it. Don't no. even be that person. No, you snooze, you lose pretty much. So pay right away. If you do want to go to something, um, a lot of the times they will put your spot down as attending if you, when you pay them. So mm -hmm. don't just be like, I'm going to this and I'll pay you whenever. So yeah, that doesn't work. expect to pay right away. Um, and then, and actually pay for the food or event space if there was like a reservation. So if you're going to a meet, that's like a restaurant meet, bring, bring cash. A lot of the times it's easier for people to handle the check that way. Or if somebody is putting it down on their credit card, um, make sure you have PayPal or Venmo or square cash or whatever, some mm -hmm. other means to pay them. Um, and then don't forget to factor in a tip. Yeah. Um, a lot of the times restaurant workers aren't super pumped to serve a group of 
six plus <laughs> weird weirdos. Um, and so it's a lot of, a lot of work, usually really loud and it's, you know, it's a thing you all know. Um, so make sure you add in a tip and don't be stingy on that tip as well. Yeah. So. Like it, a lot of times I feel like people are like so focused on trying to like divide up the thing that they often like forget, they always to. forget just, the tip. Just bring more money than you think you need. Dude. Yeah. Bring, cause then you'll have money to spend on bubble later. It's fine. Um, and then how to reserve your seat. Usually it's really simple. It's as easy as saying like attending on the Facebook event or leaving a message or messaging the host. Like, can I go? And they're like, yeah, here is instructions to pay me. Um, a lot of sit down events will have a cap and they'll require payment in advance. Like we were saying, just to reserve your seat. Mm -hmm. So that's one way to reserve it. And then don't expect, again, don't expect to be able to save your seat without payment. Like, it's not gonna happen unless you pay that C is not yours. Yeah, but for things that are like, and also once things open up and there are no more caps on mm -hmm. like events, then you don't need to like, you can RSVP and like, you know. I think I've shown up to events without like RSVPing in the past. Just I'm like, yeah, <laughs> hey. Depends on like, it depends on the kind of me. If it's super casual, you can just show up, no big deal. Yeah, but also just in general, I would still recommend RSVP. Yeah. That way you do get the information. Uh, like if it's a Facebook event, you'll get the information like where the meet is, mm -hmm. any updates from the host. So like you should still react. To yeah. The and also another thing is like sometimes you get a situation which is the opposite, which a bunch of people RSVP, but they don't actually show up. And then like you're left with a meet where you thought like 10 people were going to attend, but like only two show up. And that kind of sucks for the host. That happened to me <laughs> one time, but it was a private, like it was in my house. I invited some friends yeah. and it was just me and one of my friends so like cheese. yeah don't don't be don't like don't don't disappoint your host don't, don't let them down flake. don't be a flake yeah show up if you want to show up or say you're not going uh, right. oh catch a ride catch a ride Jessica's favorite picture. <laughs> catch a ride. that was for the gas money we forgot to do the thing but catch a ride catch a ride okay conversation my favorite um not my favorite. so they're <laughs> like when you're meeting new people, if you are not comfortable with them and you're in a public space, there are things that you probably want to keep in mind um, for like talking to them. Like um, if you are in a public space, you probably don't want to talk about sensitive subjects. You don't know what can be like triggering to people. Um, it can, you know, be like talking about like mental health or like um, you know, body image, like that kind of thing. Probably not the best thing to bring to like a tea party. Adult topic. Yeah. One. Um, like if there's minors around. Lolitas or gremlins, everybody knows that. Uh, would, you know, keep that, keep that hidden in your back pocket. Don't mm -hmm. talk about it out loud, especially when you're at like a tea meet in a restaurant with a bunch of old ladies yeah, dropping like, on there, you. you know, uh, there's obviously more, um, there, there's some things that are probably just better kept to smaller groups that with mm -hmm. people that you know better. And like a little picnic, private. Yeah. You know, so keep that in mind when you are having discussions. Um, respect pronouns and names. Uh, if you make a mistake, that's fine. Just correct yourself and remember for next time. Yeah, forgetting um, people's names is very common. People change wigs and styles all the time. Yeah. Very difficult. I have, I don't know who, it might have been you who I was talking to. No, it was um, our friend Emily Snail who mm. I was having a conversation with her. She's like, I never remember what Lolita's look like outside of meets and i'm like yeah, yeah i yeah. look nothing like i do in lolita like jessica has seen me outside of lolita i look <laughs> i don't even have the same color hair and i look like a gremlin and so you know so that part is difficult but do your best do your to best. try and like call people what they want to be called yeah um and if you do see them in person outside of you know lolita uh and you don't remember them and they correct you just be like oh sorry haha yep. like laugh about it yeah uh, just a quick fix quick no big deal fix. Don't be a goober about it. Um, don't cut in on conversations. I am from the East Coast. I do this so much. It is, I apologize for this. It's just, it happens. It's how I am as a person. But, you know, try not to. But if, yeah, if there's like, if there's like Interrupting people. Interrupting cows is moo. <laughs> <laughs> if there's like two people who are like talking about something, don't like just jump in like, and be like, hey. hey. <laughs> you want to see this cool scab I found? <laughs> Don't do that. Um, another thing is like, don't talk to people about like if they have something and like, don't ask them like, oh, how do you afford your closet? How do you afford your wardrobe? How do you afford your clothes? Um, it's super rude. <laughs> like, you know, obviously, I don't have a sugar daddy. I've never had a sugar daddy. <laughs> We're like, you know, some people, depending on like where you are in life. 
Some people are adults with jobs. Some people are like, you know, younger. They might not be making like, I don't know, a salary. It, everyone's in different places in life. You don't want to like judge on judge people for selling feet pics. What people can <laughs> afford, and if they, if it, it seems like you know they're able to spend a lot. I mean, don't you know? Don't be like, hey, like I noticed that you have a lot of clothes. Do hey, you, you have a lot of those three thousand dollar MTOs from Baby. <laughs> what do you do? Yeah, like work in tech. That's it. That's the answer. It's just everybody works in tech. Yeah, or like if someone has something that like is maybe cheaper or like doesn't it's not you know like don't be like oh like you know that's like oh that's only Taobao yeah like don't first of all that's disrespectful to you know Chinese indie brands but you know you want to be respectful about um don't comment some on somebody's like people's pieces like life you know. like life status financially that's weird it's tacky and gross yeah don't do that you feel free to talk about good deal though because we love yeah. those <laughs> oh yeah I uh will often talk about hot deals I find on Closet Child. Um, love that for us. Mm -hmm. uh, keep your setting in mind, be aware of your space. So yeah, the old ladies do eavesdrop. They love it. So uh, be aware if there's like a small child near you. Um, I've gotten better at that personally in my life. Cause again, I'm, I'm from Massachusetts. It's in my blood to just swear. Like every other word mm -hmm. I swear. Mm -hmm. And so Keep that in mind if like you're in a space with like younger children, uh, oftentimes adults do not appreciate you cussing in front of their small children or old ladies might grasp at their pearls if you say something lewd. Um, yeah. yeah. If you're in like, a lot of times you can go like have a, um, a tea party that's like in a more private room. You know, yeah. it's a little go bit, nuts. yeah, go nuts. No, I won't be making don't, don't, go, don't, go don't, nuts. don't. You know, be aware, <laughs> be aware of your space, yeah. which is hard because, you know, bullies and petticoats never wear your space, yeah. knock everything over. Mm -hmm. uh, don't concrete people in real life. That's weird. Oh, I have a, I have a thing for this. Oh, <laughs> so uh, that's concrete, that's concrete baby. baby. <laughs> that's concrete, baby. Yeah, um, that's weird. That's really just weird, just in general. Um, Wait, hold on. I love the dog. Dog can stay. The concrete dog can stay. No. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's concrete. I don't even know that we need to say anything on this other than it's just like, yo, what the shit? Um, nobody needs to yeah, know if, their shoes it, don't match. They're aware. They're they're going to a meet to like hang out, not like be told how to dress. They can't change anything in that moment. What they are can't they like, do be like, oh yeah, sorry, I'm gonna go back home. I brought another pair of shoes. Let me change. Yeah. Like so just, no one asks for it. No one needs. If they if they go like hey how do you think I could cord this better like or like oh give, if like, they ask for it like maybe. oh like you know I'm thinking of cording it this way in the future then yeah that's okay to discuss but like if it's unwarranted and they never ask don't yeah. don't don't a lot of people will I've seen just meets I've I've done it myself where you go somewhere like you're at Disneyland and you're wearing Lolita you're gonna wear like crappy shoes that right are exactly to walk in. like yeah. that doesn't warrant you being like your shoes are bad they know. Most of the time, they're going to be like, yeah, I got comfortable shoes. I don't care. Um, it's rude to ask people if they want help tying their corset, lace, or waist ties. Um, that's probably fine. Again, it's a yeah. quick fix. Um, they probably don't know that it's untied. Yeah. So um, it's probably fine. And so that kind of goes in the don't touch people's cords unless they get permission. It goes kind of the same with, mm -hmm. like, fixing it. Or if you're like, that is a dress that I'm considering getting. Is it okay if I see the fabric? Um most Alitas are like really excited about dresses just in general. So they'll be happy to show it to you or fixing waist ties or a corset. Like I, a lot of the time will need, I just earlier, I was like, Jessica, I can't tie my bow. And so she had to do it for me. So we don't care a lot at the time. So yeah, just yeah. make sure you ask. Cause like, it's creepy. Otherwise, if you have somebody come up, and like <laughs> someone's touching me and I don't know what's happening and I'm scared like that. Just let them know. Give them a heads up, like yeah. yell or something when you're coming up behind them. Hey, no, don't do no, that. No, yeah. Um, yeah, but just ask, just ask. Um, but usually that's fine. It's not that I wouldn't count as a concrete. I would count that as like you know just helping. It's like a quick fix. Yeah, of course. are also yeah a lot. Um, if you are going to multiple meets and you see people you're like I'm not sure if we met or not. It's fine to re reintroduce yourself uh, again everyone knows that it's difficult to tell who is who when you are meeting a bunch of people at once wearing different wigs wearing different styles it's very very normal to forget people's names and faces so it's not a problem to reintroduce yourself yeah, especially 
since we're getting back into in-person meets, a lot of people I just have not seen in person. I've mm-hmm. only seen them on virtual meets. So I I don't know. I am like face blind and name blind. Yeah, so me too. like God help me. Um yeah. Yeah. And like a lot of times I like can't remember if I've met this person only on the <laughs> internet or like in real life. <laughs> Please do not be offended. Also, if somebody like one, if somebody either reintroduces themselves, don't be offended that you're like, I've met them before. Yeah. Or like, it's not that you're um, not memorable. It's just that like, you know, there's a lot of people to remember. Yeah. Or also just don't be offended on the other side of that. Mm-hmm. Like if you have to introduce yourself to someone, it's just fine. Yeah. It happens. Um, You can talk about stuff that's not J fashion. It is a J fashion meetup. And you know, that you're there based on that common interest, but it's a really great way to make friends based on other interests as well. Um, music, art, yeah. hobbies, you know, video games. Video games. Uh, Am I the only mushroom. Lolita who's a gamer? What's up, gamers? It's your boy. There you go. <laughs> video games. Um, video games. Uh, but then this loops back into don't talk about sensitive subjects. So, like, I am a weirdo and I like horror movies. And that's probably not super cool to talk about in public. I mean, in general, I think, you like, know. the general topic of horror movies is okay, but don't just talk general. about, like, excessive gore. Just sit here and talk about, and just list all of my favorite Cronenberg films and gore moments. <laughs> but, yeah, so keep that in mind. Um, you gotta come to Grammary for that. You gotta come to Grammary for that. <laughs> Gamer Lolitas represent. Dying! Snacks! I'm just going to sit here and make a gremlin face. Yeah. Um, oh, I want to say you say this word again because you forgot last time. You didn't know what it meant. Don't bogart all the food. What is bogart? It means hogging, you know, taking mm. all of the stuff. A lot of times when you, go, when you go to a paid um, meetup where it's like they prepare the food in advance for your group, there is a, like a certain number of like sandwiches or whatever, like per person. So you don't want to like take more than what you technically paid for unless it is offered they they math it out so it is very very specific so like you will have like two sandwiches which equals out to like what i don't know like four slices usually four four or eight hmm. usually one you know it's enough. It's enough. it's enough it's enough it's enough trust me it's more enough. than you think <laughs> you will not be especially if you go to a high tea i went to one one time with just a bunch of non-lolita friends you're like is this gonna be enough food it's small like, sandwiches but it's very filling like it will be more than enough and lo and behold nobody ate all of their food except for me because <laughs> we're used to I it am, i'm used to it um, um let's see don't uh, reach over people that should be pretty self-explanatory just ask them to pass the thing it's like not a big it. deal um the servers wow. they're dealing with a lot they are dealing with like a bunch of frilly people coming in they all know what's going on be polite and thank yeah. them you know, yeah, just tip be them. Very that kind respectful because they're usually, uh, if you go to like specifically like high tea places and you're in a an area that has a local comm that's fairly big, they will know about you. Yeah. Uh, all of our tea places in the city are aware of the Lolita comm. Uh, a lot of the time, if you're hosting just as a heads up, you can call them and be like, hey, as a heads up, or those weird, frilly people, <laughs> we're going to come and have a meet with like 10 to 20 people. Is that okay? And like, cool, we'll be prepared. Yeah. So. But also if they're not respectful of like you and your group, you don't have to go back. Just don't. Yeah. Like, I went, yeah. If they're just rude to you, just don't go back. Um, but still tip them because times are hard. Yeah. Um, yeah, be polite. Probably, Thank you, sir. Yeah. If you're wearing um Hime style sleeves, don't um wizard sleeve. Yeah, just remember to like every time you reach for something, just hold it. Just hold it. You gotta get into the practice of this because otherwise it'll get into your food and super just like annoying. wrap it around. I have this thing actually, and I have a bunch of like wizard sleeves, so I'll just like wrap it around my arm if like I go to wash my hands or I have to yeah. reach. So get a hair tie, <laughs> put it on there. Um, or just don't wear <laughs> big old sleeves or going to an event like that. Or do and just be bold. Yeah. Um yeah, don't go to a restaurant meet if you're not buying food or a drink. That's just kind of not wasteful, but it is like weird. don't don't just get like a water. I'm just taking a water. Like you can get like tea is fine. Yeah. Something that you like. Or order something, something. Something. Uh I always get like the cheapest thing on the menu. I'm terrible. But I right. still but, like you're still fine. buying a thing. Like you're you know, you're gonna be sitting down at the place. It's polite to buy like yep. a thing. Uh bring makeup for reapplying if you're planning to eat and take pictures afterwards. Uh pro tip, take pictures before. And then you can just, you know. Right. But, you know, like, definitely just, like, at least bring your, like, lipstick. Yeah. Just, you know, 
lipstick. That's not even mirror. an etiquette thing. That's just like a hot tip. Hot tip. Um, or also bring a mirror too if somebody if you need to make a friend and someone's like, I need a mirror. Um, people usually need a mirror. People or like do a their comb. phone, and I love going to meets and just seeing everybody on their phone. And I'm like, I have a mirror, guys. <laughs> I have like a mirror. Can you comb. imagine if? Oh my god, where's that ornate mirror you have? Oh, the gold one. Yeah. Just can you imagine if like you went to a meet? And someone was like, oh, hey, I have a mirror. Do you want to use this? And they were like, <laughs> I should do that. Oh, my God. That'd be so funny. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm usually the mom. Like, I have, like, every it was, possible like, thing. Hold it up. Like, I have, like, a professional makeup bag. that I I'm like, who needs concealer? I've got eight shades. It's fine. Um, you know. And then, you know, don't use all the cream, please. For the love of God. We all love cream. They will refill it to a point. I've noticed that sometimes they stop refilling. Or like they'll take their time. It's like the breadsticks at Olive Garden. They're unlimited, but you know. Special meets. Um we're so, we're still doing this. Some people you know, are still doing virtual meets. Somewhat um, you know, not there. everyone is super comfortable going to in-person meets. That's super understandable and okay. Um, you know, you might still want to continue doing virtual meets for your calm. Also, they're kind of just neat if you want to meet people who are like not in your calm. Um, yep. If you want to do like a worldwide thing. Um, so definitely if you've never done this kind of meet before, you want to check your mic volume and your video before the meet so that you don't have to like be constantly adjusting while you're doing it. Um, er there are internet issues that happens. Don't worry about it. You'll drop sometimes and it's just what it is depending on like yeah the platform you're using and how good your internet is or someone else in the house is gaming that kind of thing <laughs> don't blame the host for that for your internet issues that's they know they're trying to do their best mm -hmm. um uh, check with the host if j fashion tire is required uh rules are pretty lenient at this point just because not everybody has access to the j fashion tire uh wardrobe or they're building it still because of the pandemic yeah, so like super casual meets super it's casual no big deal meets. just sitting and chatting it's fine a lot of the times, but it's a good excuse to dress up. So, you know, uh, wear headphones or earbuds to make sure that you don't echo or cause any problems. Um, and again, mute your mic uh, or push know, talk. Push talk. Um, but yeah, definitely have like at least one of those options because when you have a group of people where it's like a bunch of people and no one likes Someone's to call. Someone's just heavy breathing over the mic. No one likes to call out when there is an echo. <laughs> it's like so it's like we're just like waiting just sitting there casually like mm. and then there's always one person who will do it and you're like hell yeah thank you <laughs> but also uh yeah oh food's fine too just again uh mute your mic if yeah. you're having like crackers or something real yeah bad, don't you too yeah um it's virtual <laughs> meets, virtual meets people will have snacks it's common just make sure you meet your mic or chew away from the microphone yeah yeah uh i love being in the middle of a meet or doing a panel for example and having people just come be like hey what are you doing and you're just like i've often answered my doorbell getting ready for me with like onion head on with my with my wig cap and just been like oh yeah no hey <laughs> like I, I guess i have to get the door and then you just see the post off postman and it's it's a good time uh, and yeah, it's understandable to have things happening in the background, but if a situation is too distracting, consider, you know, turning off your microphone or yeah. just like leave for a like, little bit. Like turn off the back. camera and be like, hey guys, I'll be back. Just if there's like a lot of chaos, obviously, if there's you like know. some stuff happening, it's no big deal. If your cat's having like a dance party in the background, <laughs> keep the, it up though. Definitely show us. That. We want to see that. But yeah, just, you know, keep in mind like some, some things might be too distracting and you might want to just like turn off your camera for that and come back. You can just come back. No big deal. No big deal. Hosting. Okay. It's very short. Very a short. little bit. A little as, as a treat. treat. <laughs> <laughs> General host etiquette. Uh, be organized. Uh, this will be better in the long run for you if you've never done this before. Just if you're not good at organization, find somebody to co-host with you. And if you know, find yeah. somebody also super organized. If it's your find first, your Virgo. If you're a first time like host and you haven't done it before, definitely ask someone for help and also i wouldn't recommend hosting an event without attending one first yeah um i mean you can Wild. you can Who would do such a thing i have anxiety so i can't um but you can um you know. but you know you want to have a clear idea of what is your event is going to entail it's very like a baseline of what it will look like. yeah you know where you're gonna meet up so that'll give you a good idea of where you're event will be or what it'll look like. And mm -hmm. so when you're making your own event, you can have your own idea of what you want it to look like. Uh, and again, don't be afraid to ask for help. Mm -hmm. um, 
even if someone's not co-hosting with you, you can kind of ask somebody who has hosted in the past, but like, mm -hmm. hey, what have you done? And or like ask a moderator, mod or, something moderator like that. or host, all that stuff. Um, communicating often, this is really important for if like your group is moving around or if, you know, if you like the host itself or yourself is like running late, um, which happens, no big deal. Um, but you definitely want to make sure the entire group is updated on what is going on. Um, if you are um, choosing to dine somewhere that is not reservation, make sure that you can. Um, a lot of times there are seating limits and you don't want to show up with a big bu bunch of people and like and your group has to be separated and it's like kind of awkward and weird. I did that one time with only um, like six people and it was very awkward. I thought it would be okay, but you know, especially um, if it's a place where you have to go and like find your own seating, like wouldn't yeah. recommend those types of places. Yeah. Or if like, you know, if the place is like okay with sp splitting like the bill, mm -hmm. sometimes they'll only take a certain number of cards. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when collecting group payments, don't forget to account for tax and tip. Yeah. Uh, really, really important. That way you're not, one, you're not stuck paying for somebody's stuff and they didn't mm -hmm. pay. You're not stuck by yourself paying the tip because the tip does add up. It can yep. be a lot. Yeah. Um, if it's a paid event and someone's super late, check on them privately. This kind of goes back to the, if you're going to be late, make sure the host knows because you never know if something, God forbid, bad happens or if they're having a family emergency. Uh, just like, you know, check in. Be like, hey, you, you good fam? You come in. Yeah. Um, but it is your job as a, kind of a host, I guess, to make sure that everyone mm -hmm. is accounted for, okay, Having comfortable. A good time, yeah. All that stuff. Uh, give updates on group location if you're moving around. Uh, I'm still just, la God, I'm just thinking about how you had the, um, you guys met up a couple weeks ago yeah. for a little Bay Area K shindig. Uh, I didn't attend it, <laughs> but just seeing in our discord, like everybody going back and forth. Where are you? We're here. Where are you? Like at the picnic tables. It's fine. Not picnic we're, tables. It's I swear kitchen. we're good at organization. It's our job. You would never think. And so, <laughs> um, you know, be very specific, take pictures, highlight the Google Maps area, mm -hmm. especially if you're going to a bigger park. I love doing Golden Gate parks because like oh, it's that's huge. that's a big ass park. And you can never find anybody. You're like, I know we're in this park, but where? And then you just look for the group of Lolitas. Yeah. Um, love that. If you have newer members who are attending, uh, and if they message you, be accommodating to them. Uh, don't ignore them. Make sure they're having a good time because you could be the make or break of them having a good time mm -hmm. or a bad time. Yep, yep. Uh, make sure you introduce them to somebody or that way they don't follow you around the whole time. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. I have done that. I have done that to my friend. Like, I don't know anybody. I'm going to sit with you. So, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Easy that's stuff. it. Yeah. Uh, there's more to hosting events, but this is not this. Yeah, panel. that's a whole ass oh, panel by all. itself. So. <laughs> oh. <laughs> my life. This, if you're if you're a host and something goes wrong, this would be you, I guess. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, you know, thing things oh. might happen. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, just be prepared. But that'll be another for your information. Okay. Um, when if you are wearing J fashion and it is a more like outlandish outfit than people in your area are seeing, you have to come to terms with the fact that people are not used to it. They will, you will have some negative encounters. Like a lot of positive. That's great. It's fun. But like, be prepared for some negative account encounters with people just being generally rude or even like confused and not knowing what's going on and you're like having to explain yourself like you don't um you don't need to do that but just be aware that that is a thing that can happen especially the larger the group um are you guys going to a wedding <laughs> you want to play we know um, you all know if you are not comfortable being Drop a picture your favorite question in the chat y'all oh my god please um what's the weirdest thing that you guys have been asked put in the chat if you're not comfortable being in a picture, don't take a you picture. Don't have to. Yeah, you can say no. They can be mad about it. I wouldn't be mad. Uh, <laughs> but on the flip side of that, if like you're in a group of people and one person's okay and you're kind of on the fence, um, and you're like, yeah, it's fine. Make sure are you both? <laughs> make sure you ask the people you're with like if they're also okay with getting their picture taken. I personally don't care because I'm like, cool. You have a picture of a stranger on your phone. What are you gonna do with it? Like, 
Are you a clown? Are you a clown? <laughs> I once went and took, here's the thing. If you, again, another pro tip, uh, don't wear Shiro in public. People are going to assume you're getting married. Just don't do it. Oh, I thought I, I thought you meant like people are going to touch you. No, that too. Like, <laughs> I can't wear Shiro because I am terrified of grass stains. But like, again, people are going to assume you're getting married. So it's, you can just be like, nope. And they're really confused and you're really confused. Even if you're wearing all black, I've been asked that one time, like I'm in black. Anyway, um, yeah, you, you're okay to be like, no, I don't want you to take my picture or do what I do sometimes if I'm like on the fence. I do the circle game. You know, you hold like the little thing under your <laughs> under your waist. And so like, don't stick up middle fingers. That's kind of edgy. Yeah, just the circle game. Just um, do the circle game. It's fun. Or make if, a weird face. If you're in like a group and someone is taking your picture without permission, I don't recommend like don't throwing really a fit in public. We've had like instances where like it's like, you know, comes like yelling at like the person. But some people in the group might not be comfortable with that. Um, you know, be aware that you are in a group of other people and like you don't want to put anybody in danger. Nobody wants that don't. attention. Like you're already getting enough attention as it is. Nobody wants any more because it's very uncomfy. You're one of the best. I mean, that's cute. <laughs> I would love that. <laughs> like, I wish. Um, yeah, don't feel like you need to explain what you're wearing. Like, you can if you want to be like, oh, I just dress like this. Is usually our go. -to. Like, yeah, we're just having a day dressing up you know mm -hmm. like fine. you don't need to explain it no one like people who are asking may not necessarily like most likely they're not gonna like actually care what no, the actual answer is they're not gonna like go home and research it and if they do that's cool <laughs> if, you, if it's someone but... who seems like they're genuinely interested in like participating or like that kind of thing yeah feel free to like you know give them resources yeah. or whatever um but if it's just like some person who's like what's going it's on like grandma, i don't like, what know do what's like up? just be like hey like we're just hanging just out we're friends just we're doing it up. just dressing up because we want to mm -hmm. um some fun ways to detract the public carry a fan or a parasol so you just whip it open hide your face or you know don't hit him with it but don't hit him with it um tell them to pay for photos uh so that would also be like put up signs that say photos five dollars mm -hmm. or have like little postcards up they just yeah. say another thing another thing that um happened during a, a museum meet that Haley did was one time well before we had a museum meet it was like super traumatic for me because we couldn't enjoy like we couldn't walk around without getting stopped and then everyone kept asking questions and it was just like very I think very it was bad. like a big hat meet too. it was a big hat meet and it was just like it was bad um so next time Haley hosted a museum meet she actually had like little brochures where it said like we are just a group of people who like fashion we are also trying to enjoy the museum don't bother us if it looks like we're trying to look at like the stuff so and that was I mean in better language than that obviously I was paraphrasing but that seems to be kind of effective in like getting people to understand that we're not part of the exhibit we are trying to enjoy it the same way you are and people don't necessarily want to pose for photos with you uh wear big sunglasses too if you don't want to make eye contact uh great pro tip just in life in general um and then be careful on public transit uh if you live in a big city, like we live in San Francisco, so public transit can be hairy sometimes. I have never taken, I think I did one time I took public transit wearing the lead and it was on Halloween. So it like mm. was fine. Mm -hmm. Somebody asked if I made the dress and I was like, ha ha, no, <laughs> what? Um, but just like on a regular day, people might be creepos. So like be aware, like don't be, be just on your yeah. phone or like with your headset on just be be aware that's yeah. you know and i used to, i used to take like the bus to work and really go, and it was like more casual so it's fine but if you're wearing something like really big okay. and fancy maybe like put your headdress in your bag and cover mm. up with a coat that kind imagine of thing. taking public transit wearing a triple fortune headdress though. <laughs> wild uh that's about private meets uh so in bigger comms you're gonna find people who are like a group of friends uh this doesn't mean that they're actively excluding you if they have a private meet that's just that's on them don't feel sad if that happens uh you can find your own friends eventually mm -hmm. and yeah. it will happen I, yeah i often see this kind of accusation yeah. where it's like a area with um just more lolitas and like bigger groups where it's like oh like those people had a meet without me they're excluding me like they're, they're having, having exclusive meets. meets like that's not no. the 
case. Um, Let friends be friends. Yeah. It, 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 be pals. it sucks to feel like you're being excluded. Um, and it takes a very long time to find people who are mm -hmm. your people who will like, you know, who you will be close to. Um, it took me many, many years to find people who I was like actually good friends with in Lolita, not just like acquaintances. We literally just started hanging out probably a year ago being mm -hmm. the pandemic. Yeah. Like. But so it takes a long time. Yeah. Don't be discouraged. It'll there happen. is someone there for you. Um, there's a there's a group. That? Spencer, yeah. What's that phrase? There's a mop for every handle. It's a mop for every handle. <laughs> a mop for every handle. Um, we make the best mop cleaning up messes. There's a cat screaming in the background. Spencer, can you bring in Leon to say hi real quick? Big boy. Um, but anyway, <laughs> reach out and make connections to people before expecting them to hang out with you in like more private groups mm -hmm. um and again you can keep going to regular meets so like talk to oh, somebody on instagram on. uh hang out with somebody's cat um some people hit it off more than others and that's fine like if you have a friend crush on somebody like i love that for you but like don't expect them to reciprocate it especially like if it just doesn't work if mm -hmm. your if your personalities don't mesh like i had a friend crush on jessica forever and it turns out we're both weirdos it's true and we're so now we're friends weirdos. we're both weirdos um also if you have a cat you can get friends that way very easily yeah yep um but yeah just like you know don't be discouraged um you do have to try and reach out to people sometimes to try try and like figure out like if you're common hobbies with them or like you know what kind of personality types like go well together but there you can definitely find friends um, to hang out with and um yeah it's fine yeah get a cat show them your cat uh, questions yeah we've got, yeah, we've got questions. okay yeah we've got time questions that was I, I thought we were like taking a lot of time on each slide but i think we we're okay i know actually. i always get so nervous so <laughs> if we rushed anything if you want us to elaborate on anything anymore please yeah um don't be shy if you want to uh compliment us on our existence that's also very well accepted. Or if um, you like want to um, validate me, if you want to roast us, that's I fine roast too. Us. Don't roast me. I'm very sensitive. You can roast me. <laughs> Somebody gift that. You can get rid of the slides. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we can get rid of those. We slides. can get rid of the slides. Question time. Uh, so, means Jessica did all the memes. She's very good. I contributed a single meme. Concrete, baby. It's concrete. Um, <laughs> Funny and spoopy. That's a vibe I kind of strive for, I guess you could say. Yeah. Yeah, that checks out. Thanks for watching, Nari. <laughs> Thanks for watching, Nari. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we're trying to think if there's anything that we didn't go over for like meets that's kind of important to know. Um hosting meets is like a big thing too, though. So yeah. if that's something that you are interested in hosting your own meet, like don't be afraid to. I'd say just do it. The worst that could happen. <laughs> I know it's <laughs> antique beasts be like that sometimes. Yeah, I think yeah. Mindy might have a a panel that's all prepared for hosting. For hosting so. me. She's done a lot more of that. She's yeah. She does yeah. all the um. Mindy does all the uh monthly in person meets mm -hmm. like before pandemic. I've so. never hosted an in person meet. I've maybe been to like three or four <laughs> in-person meets just as an attendee and then i somehow got raised my hand to do all of our virtual meets so like that was why oh um we're here because we're doing a panel <laughs> oh um yeah we're doing a panel this is a yeah. panel we actually did this panel for uh another event earlier this quarter yeah um we'll be gone we'll and we'll be gone in like we'll be out of a few your head. minutes don't worry. don't worry don't worry you don't need to pay attention to us we're here we wanted to do a panel for Prashara because we this is good J fashion content yeah we it's figured to know. we figured like you know there's people who are watching these things that are like maybe if they are newer and they haven't attended meets maybe this is useful yeah. information for you I don't know we've had a handful of people just from doing our our, our own events um uh, even just in our own con. oh do you want to become famous by yes, followers? Please. Yeah, make us famous. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, we've had a lot of people come in and just kind of say this is their they've only been to virtual meets, which is virtual meets are really easy. Um, I love them because it's not a lot of 
energy. You don't have to go anywhere. Um, I don't drive and so I hate asking people to take me. I usually ask my partner. Um, I hate it. He hates it. I'm like, <laughs> I'm sorry, Spencer. Can you drop me off in Japan town and then come back in a couple hours and pick me up again? Yeah, we had like an Emma handoff one time where Spencer like came yeah, to my work to drop off Emma yeah. and I took her to Japan town so yeah. he wouldn't have to drive there. All the way back. Uh, <laughs> I bought him a burrito. It's fine. Um, yeah, so it's. I know. saw someone driving, like I was in a car one time with a bunch right. of Lolitas, and the driver was wearing like a bonnet, a full on bonnet. And then there was like something dragging off the end of the car, and someone had to like stop. Someone like outside the car saw, because it was like in a like kind of pedestrian area. They like stopped the car, and they were like, hey, there's something hanging off like the back of your car. And it's just a car filled with like Lolitas and like a person in a bonnet driving. <laughs> that's a vibe that's a vibe um yeah attending meets it's it's this kind of had a lot of information in it and we are aware uh we promise though like attending a meet is not as complicated as we probably made it seem yeah uh especially in person like you really it just involves you dress up show up don't be a weirdo and uh, have fun but it's okay to be like <laughs> a little bit of a weirdo okay I feel like most Lily those are. That's you're gonna find a friend if you're a weirdo. Yeah. Um we all kind of find each other. Yeah, but definitely I would say like if you have anxiety about that kind of thing, it's normal, it's expected. Everybody um has anxiety yeah, these so, oh <laughs> so like I, I encourage you to go hang out with your yeah. local community. And if for some reason you are at a meet and you have to leave because of something like you're anxious or you just don't feel well, like that's okay. And you're like, oh no, people are gonna like think of me. They're not. Yeah. They're not. Like I, mean, I they, promise you. Yeah, they'll probably be concerned for like your well being, but that's you know, they're not like there to try and like judge you harshly. No, like they'll be concerned, like, you know. It's a thing. We're all. Like, oh Whoa. my god! Ellie is saying that they can um, drive stick and rocking horses. That the is intense. <laughs> of driving stick is horrible. Yeah, it's just that. Uh, do I have tips for long distance meets? It normally takes you an hour to get to the bigger city and tough. I get this as somebody who doesn't drive and like really I rely on my my partner to take me mm -hmm. to a lot of meets in the city. So if there's anything outside of the city, I just don't go. Um. I would say one, don't feel like you have to go to them mm -hmm. if you don't really want to go. But if two, if that really is your only option, um, you can find a friend. Yeah, I would say um, go with a buddy if possible, just so you have someone to talk to. Uh, if you're one of those people who like this will be one of your first meets or you don't really know anybody yet, you can post in like the Facebook event or Discord be like, hey, I'm new. I live here is anybody going from this mm -hmm. way to this way and driving uh, that's a good option to ask the server you you might make a friend that way um or if like for example if meets are normally in like an area that's far away from you be yeah. like hey you guys want to come over here for once yeah maybe i'll come over to you mm -hmm. host meet yeah. um a friend sarah brad did that with all of her video games and cabinets that was good so yeah two hours drive oh yeah that's a uh, um, yeah. That's like a once a, I don't even know what that's like, but I could imagine if I moved back home, which is Western Mass to me, like going to Boston where the comp would be, that's like a two hour drive. I yeah. would say like make it like a once a month or once yeah, a couple Yeah, I'd probably, kind of I'd probably like stick to like the ones where I know it's going to be like more worth it. Like I'll get mm -hmm. like a good meal out of it, if you you're, know? Yeah, if it's <laughs> like a, an OTT type of thing that could be more fun for you, do it. Yeah. Uh, you can also just continue to go to virtual meets if that is an option mm -hmm. for you. Yeah uh because you still kind of get the same effect of it um yeah well midwest meets are at least 30 minutes yeah that's find a find a driving buddy yeah um i wouldn't recommend taking an uber because that can be very yeah. expensive switch off or like you know again going train. back to like if you can find someone who drives like pay the money yeah yeah i i do to be fair, I do have my driver's license and I can drive. I've had it since I was 16, which is a million years ago. Uh, I am just too scared to drive in this state. <laughs> it's not great. It's, San Francisco like, sucks to drive in. I drove in Massachusetts. We have terrible drivers. I'm a terrible driver. But, like, y'all got five lanes on the highway. That gives me anxiety. <laughs> the hills here are too much. Like, I could drive. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> yeah. So... Thanks for driving everywhere, Jess. I appreciate yeah. it. I have a car. She's got a car. 
also just another thing if you do find somebody who drives you might find somebody who lives near you which is one of those things that i think jess and i realized that we live way too late way too late like you ended up moving and then i moved away and then he moved away but she used to live five minutes away from me and i was like what and then we became friends yeah sometimes there's going back to finding lolitas in your area i can more name, likely like, than five you think people in the column that live near me which is bonkers like yeah. i know what streets they live on because i'm like oh that's that street that's like i'm that person driving lives. past them yeah so um questions i think that's how it. much time we have i think we're, we're that's it we're at an hour yeah. Yeah. yeah cool cool thanks for thanks for coming <laughs> yeah thanks um, for hanging out hopefully that was any uh, a bit of useful for you <laughs> I, it, yes <laughs> um if you guys have any questions also or just want to hit us up and tell us we're wonderful people you can find us <laughs> and hear our names oh yeah That's feel me. free to we're, we're swapped oh but, yeah you know, feel free to style swap add us. us add us add us add us don't at me <laughs> Okay, that's it. Okay, bye. We just gotta come off away. <laughs> yeah. Good goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>